President Biden charges full steam ahead with his plans to boost the economy through his infrastructure plane and American Families Act. Our Washington correspondent, Basil John, joining us live right now with why the president said he believes it's necessary. Good morning, Basil. Good morning. And yes, President Biden says investing in the American people now will do better for the country and the economy in the years to come. A once in a generation investment in our families. President Joe Biden says the $1.8 trillion American Families Plan will help students, parents, and teachers, as well as bring the country back to the top. The investment we need to win the competition, the competition with other nations in the future. The American Families Plan includes $200 billion for free pre-K and $109 billion for two years of community college. To become a teacher, an entrepreneur, or anything else. For some, it's getting an extra training through a certificate program. It also provides $1,400 in additional assistance to low-income students, provides paid family and medical leave, and extends the child tax credit. I think it's about time we start giving tax breaks and tax credits to working class families and middle class families. This plan, along with the infrastructure package, totals up to $4 trillion in spending, a price tag Republicans can't get behind. Our colleagues on the other side of the aisle uh, just can't resist uh, stretching out the uh, pandemic, using it as a rationale for additional spending. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell says it's better if the president listens to Republicans on infrastructure to cut back on spending. I and my colleagues uh, on the Republican side are interested in doing an infrastructure package, but we'd like it to be about infrastructure. Democrats say they are still holding out for a bipartisan deal with, with Republicans in order to make the president's plans a reality. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Basil John.